I'm not going to say that alkaline water is the most beneficial and I'm not going to say it's the most detrimental, but what I will say is you should be less worried about altering the pH of your natural body as opposed to just putting clean sources within your body. I'm all a fan for hydration, especially on the cellular level. What you can do is get you some distilled and or spring water. And I think it's, um, I forgot the name of the other brands, like a mountain water. You can get, put some Celtic salt inside of it and even a, a squeeze of some lime if you want to. And that would do way more for your body, way more for your kidneys and your lymphatic system as well. See, when people try to go for alkalinity in these waters and stuff like that, they think it's a cure-all. They think that it's something that's just going to always going to ultimately rejuvenate me in X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to say it doesn't play a role and doesn't have a factor. But what I more so lean on on the actual things that require um, remineralization of the body because that's essentially our makeup and what we need. So once again, I say you can get you a cup of water, um, not purified, distilled spring or the mountain. I forgot, but I cannot remember the name, the brand for the life of me. But there's a brand, uh, Body Love by Tell. She talks about it a lot. I cannot. Remember. I don't. I don't drink it, but I, I trust her. That's somebody I, I do holistic. Uh, business and education with so i know she knows what she's talking about in that area but you mix that with some celtic salt and you put like a squeeze of lime in it as well and it's really good for your body it's like i'm talking about really really good for the bones really good for the lymphatic system really good for the cardiovascular system and the digestive system and it wouldn't be right if i left you with physical knowledge but not any spiritual knowledge let's tap in real quick Proverbs 1 and 5 says let the wise hear and increase in learning and the one who understands obtain guidance what this means is that you should forever be a student. You should forever try to be learning, seeking wisdom, using your discernment to not only better yourself, but the people around you, strengthen your physical and strengthen your spiritual. But as usual, I love you guys. I hope this helped you out, friend. Have a good one.